It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. By thy long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stopst thou me? The bridegroom's doors are open wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, mayst hear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth he. Hold off and hand me, greybeard loon. Eft soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still, and listens like a three years child. The mariner hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone. He cannot choose but hear. And thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbour cleared. Merrily did we drop below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon. The wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. The bride hath paced into the hall, red as a rose is she, nodding their heads before her goes the merry minstrelsy. The wedding guest he beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm-blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his oar, taking wings, and chased us south along. With sloping masts and dipping prowers, who pursued with yell and blow, still treads the shadow of his foe, and forward bends his head. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, and southward I we fled. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold. And ice mast high came floating by, as green as emerald. And through the drifts the snowy cliffs did send a dismal sheen. Nor shapes of men nor beasts we ken. The ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a swound. At length did cross an albatross, thorough the fog it came. As if it had been a Christian soul, we hailed it in God's name. It ate the food, it ne'er had it, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit, the helmsman steered us through. A good south wind sprung up behind, the albatross did follow, and every day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whilst all the night through fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. Save thee, ancient mariner, from the fiends that plague thee thus. Why look'st thou so? With my crossbow I shot the albatross. The sun now rose upon the right. Out of the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work them woe, for all averred I had killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they, the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. Nor dim, nor red, like God's own head, the glorious sun uprist. Then all averred I had killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down, Twas sad as sad could be. And we did speak only to break the silence of the sea. 
All in a hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon, right up above the mast it stand no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we stuck nor breath nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, oh, Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about, in reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water, like a witch's oils, burnt green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well a day, what evil looks had I from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung. There passed a weary time. Each throat was parched and glazed each eye. A weary time, a weary time. How glazed each weary eye. When looking westward I beheld a something in the sky. At first it seemed a little speck, and then it seemed a mist. It moved and moved and took at last a certain shape, I wist. A speck, a mist, a shape, I wist. And still it neared and neared, as if it dodged a water sprite. It plunged and tacked and veered. With throats unslaked, with black lips baked, we could not laugh nor wail. Through utter drought all dumb we stood. I bit my arm, I sucked the blood and cried, A sail, a sail. With throats unslaked, with black lips baked, agape they heard me call. Gramercy they for joy did grin, and all at once their breath drew in as they were drinking all. See, see, I cried, she tax no more, hither to work us wheel. Without a breeze, without a tide, she steadies with upright keel. The western wave was all aflame, the day was well nigh done. Almost upon the western wave rested the broad, bright sun, when that strange shape drove suddenly betwixt us and the sun. And straight the sun was flecked with bars, heaven's mother send us grace, as if through a dungeon great he peered with broad and burning face. Alas, thought I, and my heart beat loud, how fast she nears and nears, are those her sails that glance in the sun like restless gossamers? Are those her ribs through which the sun did peer as through a grate? And is that woman all her crew? Is that a death? And are there two? Is death that woman's mate? Her lips were red, her looks were free, her locks were yellow as gold. Her skin was as white as leprosy. The nightmare, life in death, was she who thicks man's blood with cold. The naked hulk alongside came, and the twain were casting dice. The game is done, I've won, I've won, quoth she, and whistles thrice. The sun's rim dips, the stars rush out, at one stride comes the dark. With far heard whisper o'er the sea, off shot the spectre bark. We listened and looked sideways up, fear at my heart as at a cup my life blood seemed to sip. The stars were dim and thick the night. The steerman's face by his lamp gleamed white. From the sails the dew did drip, till clomb above the eastern bar the horned moon with one bright star within the nether tip. One after one by the star-dogged moon, too quick for groan or sigh, each turned his face with a ghastly pang and cursed me with his eye. Four times fifty living men, and I heard nor sigh nor groan. With heavy thump, a lifeless lump, they dropped down one by one. 
the souls did from their bodies fly, they fled to bliss or woe, and every soul it passed me by like the whiz of my crossbow.